Peter Panda. Hello! Come on, let's go and have some fun today. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. Hi, everyone. Today, we're helping Leo find a very special insect. <laughs> but first, we need to find Leo. He told us to meet him here, but I can't see him anywhere. Can you? Psst, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Huh? Over here. Leo? Are you behind that bush? No, I'm not behind the bush. <laughs> <laughs> I am the bush. <laughs> Leo! <laughs> Why are you dressed like a bush? We didn't see you there. Well, that's the idea. If the butterfly thinks I'm a bush, I won't scare it away. And then we have a better chance of taking a photo of it. A butterfly. So that's what we're looking for. Yep. A very special butterfly. It's hardly ever seen. And no one's ever managed to take a photo of it before. Wow. This is exciting. How will we find it? First, you two need to look like a bush, too. Perfect. <laughs> you look funny as a bush, Toto. <laughs> bush! Now... Let's start our search. The butterfly's wings have very special colors. Purple, pink, and yellow. Purple, pink, and yellow. Can you remember those colors, Toto? <laughs> Dr. Panda, take a look through your binoculars. Where shall I look? Butterflies fly, so I guess I should look up in the sky? Good thinking, Dr. Panda. Oh, 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 I think I see it. Oh, really? This way. <laughs> ah! Those bushes are moving. Oh, hi, Mamie. It's me, Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda? Where are you? Please help me. I've been surrounded by moving bushes. No, it's us. We're dressed as bushes. Oh! Oh! For you! Wait, why are you dressed as bushes? Is it a new fashion trend? I didn't know about that. Oh, no. We're looking for a very special butterfly, and we don't want to scare it away. Oh! <laughs> Have you seen a special-looking butterfly around here anywhere? Yes, I have. Look up there. Oh, gosh. That's very nice, but it's not the butterfly we're looking for. No worries. Let's keep looking. It's a hot day, so the butterfly could be thirsty. Maybe we should look where there's water. Good thinking, Dr. Panda. Let's go to the pond. It is. Follow me. Huh? What's that noise? It's the bushes. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Ziggy. Oh gosh. I hope we haven't scared it away. Scared? What do you mean scared? I wasn't scared. No, not you, Ziggy. We're looking for a very special butterfly. It's purple, pink, and yellow. Have you seen it? No, I've been sunbathing. And if you don't mind, I'll get right back to that. My mistake. <laughs> mm, no worries. Let's keep looking. Any ideas, Leo? Well, just as the butterfly will be thirsty, it will be hungry, too. It especially likes ripe fruit. I've got it! Moose Orchard! There's lots of ripe fruit there! Of course! Good thinking, Dr. Panda! Let's go! Hmm. I don't remember planting those bushes. Oh, they don't look too perky. I should give them a good drink. <laughs> well, I never! <laughs> Dr. Panda! Leo and Toto, what on earth are you up to? We're looking for a very special butterfly. You haven't seen one around, have you? 
Oh, I've been far too busy to notice, I'm afraid. All this fruit is going to waste on the ground. You've just given me an idea. Maybe we can help the butterfly to find us and help Moo at the same time. Helping me collect my apples. Oh, I can make some nice apple juice tomorrow. I do hope your butterfly shows up first. So do we. Let's wait and see. A fun day. Perhaps we've missed the butterfly after all. Maybe next year, huh? <gasps> Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Butterfly! Wow! <gasps> Quick, Dr. Panda, take a photo! Oh dear! Leo, stay very still. These are some great photos, Dr. Panda. You should come to the forest with me and photograph other animals. Oh, maybe that's a job for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm a potter. What does a potter do? Well... I take clay and I turn it into dishes like this one. <laughs> wow. wow. I'm going to make lots more of these. And I... <laughs> Phew. That was close, Toto. <laughs> Hi, Moo. Dr. Panda, hello. My plates and cups and bowls, the ones I ordered, are they ready? They certainly are, Moo. All handmade and totally unique. I want them to be different from what everyone else has. I'm sure you'll like them, Moo. I'll bring them around to the farm later. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. I need them more than ever now, Dr. Panda. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Moo. Hi, Dr. Panda. <gasps> Can I have a go at the wissy spinning wheel? Can I please? <laughs> sure, let me show you how to do it. So, you get the wheel turning at a nice steady speed. Not too fast, not too slow. Not too fast, not too slow, got it. You take your ball of clay and put it in the middle. There. In the middle there. Now, you start to shape the clay as it spins. Just use your fingers and don't forget to add a little water. Use your water and add little fingers. <gasps> you made a bowl. Yep. Next, we have to bake it in the special pottery oven. Dr. Panda. Oh, Dr. Panda. Oh, I think I've got a customer. I'll be back in a bit. I have lots of things to make today. Sure thing, Dr. Panda! Lots of water, not too slow. Good morning, Richie. No, it's not a good morning at all. You see, I dropped my favorite blue mug. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's find you a new one. Uh, oh, what about this? No good, Dr. Panda. That's red. My lunch plate is blue, my dinner plate is blue, my breakfast bowl is blue, my water jug is... Let me guess. Blue? Richie, not everything has to match. You could get different colored things. Oh, that bowl is lovely. And I'd like to look at that jug too, please. No problem. How's it going, Dr. Panda? 
great, but I really need to make some more dishes as soon as I've finished with these customers. Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. I've got the hang of it. Speed, water, plenty of fingers. Uh, okay, thanks. Hiya, Dr. P. I need a plate. A big plate. Well, you've come to the right place, Bip. Uh, ooh, that one. So sweet. Would you like to buy it, Bip? I have to test it first. Oh, uh, wh wh what do you mean, test it? Uh, I need to practice my juggling skills. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Do you have a vase to go with these? Uh, 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 <laughs> hey! hey. Ta-da! Done! Time to get these in the oven, Toto. Be careful, Bip. Being as careful as I can, Dr. Banda. Uh, don't you think that plate could break if you do that? Uh, oh, yeah. That's why I need a new one. Colette is right. I'll have an orange, no, green lunch plate. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, a red, no, a orange dinner plate. And a, um, uh, let me, uh, uh, uh. Excuse me, please. Hoopa! Hoopa! Can you bring some more dishes through? I'm running out. No problem, Dr. Panda. I just made a load of new ones. Oh, wait. They aren't ready yet. Any dishes in here? Yes! Coming, Dr. Panda! to do is deliver Moo's dishes to the farm. Uh, where are Moo's dishes, Hoopa? Oh, those dishes were for Moo? I didn't know. Wait, did you bring them through to the store? Yep. Oh, I think you might have sold them, Dr. Panda. Oh, no worries. We'll just have to make some more. Yeah, uh, we're also out of clay. But that's not a problem, because I made lots of new dishes. And they're done! Ta-da! So, what do you think? Um, I don't think this is what Moo was expecting. You don't? You don't like them? No, no, I, I, I do! You know what? I think Moo is going to love them, too. This is a double egg holder, see? This bowl rocks, so it can't be tipped over. <laughs> That's so clever. And these plates are for odd-shaped foods, like, like carrots and bananas. I made that. And this one lets chickens eat corn more easily. It's perfect. Thank you, Hooper. Thank you, Dr. Pander. You were right. No one else has anything like this. Oh, that was a great idea you gave me with your toy cars, Toto. <laughs> oh, your car needs a repair, does it? <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Here, let me give you a hint. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. <laughs> are you on the radio? Yes, or I will be as soon as my radio show starts. When that light is on, 
everyone in Panda City can hear me on their radio. All I have to do is speak into this microphone and play music. <laughs> <laughs> That's for playing old records, Toto. But all the music we need is on this computer, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing the red light wasn't on, Toto, or everyone in Panda City would have heard your noises. <laughs> <sighs> Here we go. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. Hi, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Panda City. It sure is. It's time to send in your requests. So if there's any song you'd like to hear, let me know and I'll play it for you. Hmm. Oh, I know just the one. To start us off, here's a song called Cutie Panda Beat by Justin Brown Bear. Now, there's a football game on the radio right after my show, Toto, so we have to finish in time. But until then, we'll play some nice music. Ah, at last. A job that doesn't involve lots of running around, huh, Toto? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Hi, Dr. Panda. I heard you on the radio, and I was wondering, can I request a song for someone, please? Great idea, Leo. What do you want me to play? You see, it's June's birthday today. And there's this song she loved when she was a little girl. It's called Fleece Oddity by a fella named David Bae. Okay. Are you sure you can find it? It's quite old. Even June doesn't have a copy anymore. Ah, uh, no worries. I have every song on my computer. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. I'm off to the store to buy June a present now. Bye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye, Leo. Ah, lots of requests coming in, Toto. Let's play this one first. Here's a request from Moo and her chickens. This is Mad Bull with Get Clucky. Oh, oh no, the song Leo requested isn't on the computer. Uh, hey, yeah. maybe it's on one of the old records in the storage room. Uh, uh, that was great. Thanks, Moo. Next up, a uh, uh, song for Hoopa. This is the Rolling Bricks with Fill Me Up. <laughs> oh, that was just in time, Toto. I have until the end of the song to find Leo's record. <laughs> the record we need must be in here somewhere. Uh, nope, not here either. Hey, maybe Ziggy can help. Yeah, hello. Ziggy, do you still have those boxes of old records in your garage? I think so. Great, I'll come over right after I put on a new song. You gotta build it up. Uh, 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 this next song is for Bip. It's Sam Simeon with Monkey on My Mind. Awesome. Oh, I have to be back before the song ends. Hey, if I listen to my show on my phone, I'll know exactly when the song's about to end. Oh! oh. Hi, Leo. I'm sorry, I, I haven't played your request yet. <sighs> I'm having a hard time finding a present for June. Mm -hmm. I'd love to help, Her but... Her taste is very particular, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Leo. I gotta go. Uh, hi, Ziggy. Are these the boxes? Yep, these are all the records I've got. Is this the one? Oh, 
Yes, that's it! Oh, thank you, Ziggy! Great! I think we can make a deal. How about I play a request for you? Can you play me something by Piggy Pug? Sure! Anything you like! <laughs> Whoa! Deal! <sighs> this next song is for Ziggy. Thanks for your help, buddy. Oh, I found it, Toto. Tick-tock. Oh, no. My show is almost over. There's not enough time to play Leo's song for June. What do I do now? Hmm. Hey. That's all the songs I have time to play today, folks. But I have one last message for June. Oh. Come meet Leo and me in the park for a special birthday surprise. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. Dr. Panda, I haven't found a present for June yet. I have nothing to give her. Ah, but you do, huh? <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. Hi, you two. What's this all about, then? <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, I love this song. Thank you, Leo. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> run! Run! Ooh, <laughs> I think I've done enough running for today, Toto. So, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. Bye -bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to be gardeners for Olette. Hello, Dr. Panda. Hi, Toto. Thanks for helping me in my garden. No problem. We love gardening, don't we, Toto? <laughs> yeah. We need to mow the lawn and rake up the cut grass, trim the bushes, prune the tree, and dig holes for my new flowers. Lots to do. And we'd better get to work. Great. Uh, hey! Hey! Why are you making all that noise? Hi, Ziggy. We're helping Olette with some gardening. Well, can't you do that some other time? I'm trying to read here. You leave Dr. Panda alone, Ziggy. We'll be working in my garden all day. Actually, your garden could use some work as well, by the looks of it. Work? <laughs> nah. If you want your garden nice and tidy, you'll have to do it yourself. Ha! Huh. Sounds like too much work to me. It'll be worth it, though, you'll see. Especially when I plant my new flowers. That reminds me. I have to go to Moose to pick up my new flowers. <laughs> moo! Moo! Hey! Why don't you go get them now? Toto can go with you. He loves the farm. Yay! Ah, he finally stopped. Wow, Olette wasn't kidding. Her lawn does look nice. <gasps> if I had a neatly trimmed lawn like that, I could turn it into a golf course and practice my swing. Um. Dr. Panda, I lost my keys in the tall grass, and now I can't get back into my house. Can you help me? <laughs> no worries. If we mow your lawn, I'm sure we'll find your keys. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Dr. Panda. Yeah, I didn't find your keys, though. Oh, here they are. They were in my pocket all along. <laughs> Silly me. 
Right. <laughs> Silly you. <laughs> well, I should get back to work in Alette's garden. All you need to do now is rake the lawn. I could, but the ladder's over there. Ah, thank you, Olette. Hi, Olette, Dr. Panda. Did my ball uh, come this way? Yes, along with the rest of your garden. Uh, may I come into your garden and take my shot, please? I have to play from where the ball lands. It's the rules. Of course you can. But I'm afraid your ball is buried under all this mess. Perhaps Dr. Panda would like some well-deserved lemonade while you try to find your ball. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Great job, Ziggy! Did you find your golf ball? No, I didn't. Where shall I plant my beautiful flowers? Hey, isn't this your ball, Ziggy? Huh? <gasps> Leave it there! Can't you play golf in your own garden? The shot must be played from where the ball lands. Let me take it, and I'll be gone. Let him take it, Olette. I've seen him play golf. Trust me, you might be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Looking good, Ziggy. Go for it. <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh! Yes! Did you see that? Great shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Dr. Panda. And now Ziggy has dug the perfect bed for my new flowers. No worries. Perhaps you could give Ziggy some golf lessons. <laughs> golf! <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, my job is to make a sculpture out of ice. Wow. wow. Oh, cool. Yep. Moo wants an ice sculpture for the opening of her ice pop cart. Hey, Toto. Good thinking. You can make sandcastles in the sand pit while I'm making the ice sculpture. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hi, Moo. Hi, Dr. Pander. Are you ready to get to work? I've put the ice in the shade so it doesn't melt. There you go. Do you know what you're going to make yet? Yep, but it's a surprise. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I'd better go and make those ice pops. They won't make themselves. 
And make sure you keep the ice in the shade or it will melt and that will be a disaster. No problem. By the time you get back, I'll be finished. <laughs> Little there. Oh, oh no! It's melting in the sun. Oh, I have to keep it in the shade. Toto, that looks great. I've just finished my ice sculpture. Want to see what I've made? Uh-huh. <gasps> wow! Chicken! That's right. It's a chicken. Do you like it? <laughs> wow! What happened? Oh, hi, Hoopa. What if most chickens has turned to ice? No, no. I made it out of a block of ice. Oh, wow! An ice chicken! How smart! Oh, what a great choice for your ice sculpture, Dr. Pander! It's wonderful! It looks just like them! Glad you like it, Moo. But now I need you to help me with something else. I've got lots of flavours, and I need your help pouring them into the moulds. Then I can freeze them in my cart. No worries, Moo. Great! There's no time to lose before the opening. Hoopa, can you make sure the ice sculpture stays in the shade to keep it from melting? Sure! Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. Thanks. Just follow the shadow. The last one. Do you think we've made enough? <laughs> we've made plenty. And there's even jelly left over. Oh, what are we going to do with it all? Let's go and get the ice sculpture. Then we'll figure it out. Hi, Hoopa. We've come to get the sculpture. But where is it? It's melted. You left it in the sun. But that's impossible. I stayed in the shade the whole time. Uh, you're in the shade, Hoopa. But the trolley is in the sun. Oh, no. Mo, this is a disaster. What are we going to do, Dr. Pander? No worries, Moo. We'll come up with something. But what? I don't have an ice sculpture for the opening of my ice pop cart anymore. All I have is my leftover jelly. I'm sorry, Moo. I wish I could do something. <laughs> We can do something, Hoopa. I have an idea. You do? Yep. You can still have a sculpture, Moo, but this time it'll be made out of jelly instead of ice. A jelly chicken? Exactly. That sounds great. Even better than an ice chicken. Huh?
looks awesome. Yes, it looks just like one of my chickens. Whoa, that is one cool chicken. Yep, and Moo's ice pops are even cooler. Want to try one? Yeah, one of each flavor, please. <laughs> Oh, that is so yummy! Thanks for making the opening of my ice pop cart such a success, everyone! I couldn't have done it without you! No worries, Moo! We had a lot of fun! Oh, what's up, Toto? <laughs> ice skate! <laughs> oh, I see! You want to go ice skating! Well, that's an adventure for another day! For now, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to babysit <laughs> Moose chickens. Aww. <laughs> 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 Everything's all right. It's the perfect time to get lucky with you. Hey, Moo, that's a nice song. Oh, <laughs> hello, Dr. Panda. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> well, you sounded great. And something smells great, too. Oh, yes. I've made you some cupcakes. <laughs> As a thank you for looking after my little darlings tonight. Mm, thanks! Oh, I'm so excited to see my favourite band in concert. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. <laughs> Your chickens seem to like the music too. Oh, yes! But a concert is no place for chickens. And neither is the kitchen. Out you go. These cupcakes are for Dr. Panda. <laughs> oh, you know I don't mind sharing. That's very kind, but they can't have food before bed. It keeps them awake. If they eat any of those cupcakes now, you'll have awful trouble getting them to sleep. Once you've read them a bedtime story, they go into their chicken coop to get cosy for the night. Oh, and make sure all five of them are inside. No worries, Moo. I've got it. Be good for Dr. Panda now, won't you? <laughs> we'll be fine. Have a great time at the concert, Moo. Oh, I will. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is... Oh, remember, don't give him any food. It's time to get clucky with you. And that's how the brave little fairy saved the big giant. Ah, <sighs> right, chickens. Time for bed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Good night, chickens. Sleep well. Ah, <sighs> chicken sitting is easy. They're so well behaved. Ooh, I think I'll have a cupcake. Toto, would you like a cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> I'll save one for him. Huh? <gasps> hey, chickens! <laughs> Stop that at once! Off you go. Back to bed now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. What's going on? Ah! Now there are none! Oh, so that's how they got out. Hello? Hoopa, I need your help at Moose Farm. Sure thing, Dr. Panda. I'll be right there. <laughs> Great job. Thanks, Hoopa. No problem. Easy fix. Now all I have to do is get the chickens back inside. 
Let me help you. It'll be easier with the two of us. Oh, great idea, Hoopa. Why don't you catch those two, and I'll go after the one inside the house. Sure thing. Here we go. chickens back to bed and Moo will be home soon maybe we can tempt them in with food they've already eaten that's the whole problem mm. if only there was something else they liked oh <gasps> that's it Hoopa you're a genius I am We're getting clucky tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Join in, Hoopa, <laughs> tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. That's it, Hoopa, tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Perfect! Yay! Great singing, Dr. Panda! And you! <laughs> oh, I'm tired. But time for me, too. Thanks for all your help, Hoopa. You're a great pal. Anytime. Bye. Phew! We're getting clucky tonight, and everything is all right. Hello, Dr. Panda! Oh, are my little darlings fast asleep? Oh, they're certainly fast, and hopefully they're asleep. That concert was amazing. I think I'm going to become a pop star. You should. Your singing is very good. Oh, but then who'd look after my farm? <gasps> Perhaps you could be a farmer for me, Dr. Panda, since you're so good at looking after my chickens. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's an adventure for another day. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs>